During the pandemic, the demand for cash has plummeted. Here in the UK, for instance, many shops aren't even accepting cash, as contactless payments are, well, contactless, and present less chance of transmission. But over in Brazil, the exact opposite has happened, with the increased demand for cash being so great that they've had to issue a new denomination of banknote, the 200 real. This new note is now Brazil's highest in value, and hasn't been without its controversies. So in this video, we're going to take a look at it, as well as the rest of the notes already in circulation. If you enjoy it, please consider subscribing. Brazil's currency is called the real, and the fronts of each banknote are largely the same. They each portray the effigy of the republic, Brazil's national personification, similar to Britannia or Uncle Sam. At the top right and bottom left can be seen the notes denomination, presented on the 10, 20 and 200 in colour changing ink. On all notes, the denomination can be seen again in this box as a latent image, becoming visible if you tilt the note at just the right angle. And if you examine the notes with a magnifying glass, you'll see the denomination yet again in microprint across much of the design. Seriously, they've put the denomination everywhere, including under UV light, in the holographic strip of the 50 and 100, and hidden in this weird image here. It's what's known as a see-through register. Half the design is printed on the front of the note, and the other half on the note's reverse, so when held up to light, the image completes. Counterfeiters often find it hard to perfectly align their printing, so if the images do match up, it's an indication that the note is genuine. Similarly, these seemingly abstract lines on the left and right edges of each note should perfectly join up if you bend the note like this, again indicating its authenticity. And finally for the fronts, each note bears a different pattern of braille-like raised lines in the bottom right, to help the visually impaired distinguish between them, as well as being different in size to one another. As with most banknotes, it's a reverse where the real really becomes unique and interesting. Each design depicts a different native animal. The two real sees a hawk's bill turtle, with a starfish and two hatchlings on the right. The five portrays a great egret, whilst the ten sees a green-winged macaw, one of the nation's most iconic birds. The twenty depicts a golden lion tamarind, and the fifty a magnificent jaguar. A dusky grouper can be seen on the 100, an enormous fish reaching up to 1.5 metres in length. And finally on the new 200 is a maned wolf. The animals of each note can be seen again in the watermark. Like the fronts, the reverses are covered in microprint, and under UV light simply see the serial number glow. So with all that out the way, let's talk about the 200 real and why exactly it caused such a stir. Firstly, the public largely objected to the animal portrayed, the maned wolf. They argued it doesn't really represent the country, and a massive campaign was launched for the banknote to instead feature a caramel mongrel, Brazil's beloved street dog, becoming a widely shared sort of meme in the country. Now I'd imagine that by this point, most of the 450 million new banknotes were likely already printed, so the government couldn't exactly change it. Instead, they featured a talking caramel mongrel in the advert promoting the new note. Although I don't speak Portuguese or dog, it seemed like a pretty great advert, but a more damning criticism is the value of the note, 200 reals. Aside from fears of inflation, large value notes are frequently used for criminal activity, and there's been a trend amongst countries in recent years to eliminate their excessively large notes, such as the 500 euro or 1000 rupee. Brazil suffers greatly with organized crime, and these new notes only make things easier for the criminals. But even more damning, and perhaps even the note's death blow, is their physical size. Remember when I said the notes are sized differently to help the visually impaired differentiate between them? Well, the 200 breaks this pattern. In fact, it's the exact same size as the 20 real. After the note's release in August 2020, it only took until October for the first lawsuit to be filed, and they're showing no signs of going away. Brazil's central bank defended themselves, vaguely stating that due to the emergency nature of these notes, there was no time for adaption at the printers. There's also the issue of existing infrastructure, such as ATMs, that would need to be modified to accept a larger note. I can sort of sympathise with this. It was an unprecedented and urgent situation, and the new note does still have the tactile lines to differentiate. Certain countries, such as Canada, have banknotes that are all the same size and that just feature Brea-like dots. But even still, it makes life a lot harder for the visually impaired. Either way, the future of these banknotes hangs in the balance, and Brazil's central bank are being fined for every day they do not remove them. So what do you think of the new note? Should it be removed, or should it only be valid whilst the pandemic is ongoing and the demand for cash higher? Aside from the controversies, these banknotes are colourful and secure, and do a fantastic job of highlighting the country's animals and biodiversity, if a little lacking in other cultural aspects.